Mods that are perfect for revamping the interiors of all of your best house builds. Let's begin. Decorative. This furniture and decoration mod adds some fairly impressive 3D model decorative pieces to the game. This mod has a range of different themed features, everything from goofy and silly decorations to festive blocks and more serious ornaments. There's some really cool items in this mod, including axes and logs, digital clocks, Christmas trees, different coloured boats and dinghies, lampshades, fans and televisions, and flat screen TVs with Nyanka on them. Multi beds. This is the best mod for different beds in Minecraft. It lets you have fully customizable beds that are much better than the ones in vanilla. These beds let you apply various different logos onto them and patterns, letting you change the different color options that are rendered on them. You can make some really cool, crazy combinations with a lot of different variations available. Furnish. This mod is all about useful furniture pieces that can be made using the easy crafting system using the special furniture workbench block, which works in a very similar way to how a stone cutter works, letting you cut wood and form it into furniture pieces like chairs, cupboards, stools, crates and drawers. There's some really nice blocks here such as mailboxes, better looking chairs and decorative pieces like pots, jars and books. There's also kitchenware to decorate your kitchen, shutters to cover up windows that work in a way that trap doors would but vertically, sofas, curtains, knockable doors, new painting types, lockers and lamps. Bibliocraft. This this mod originally spawned as a storage mod offering organisation solutions, beginning with a single bookcase block and then expanding into something greater. This is one of the most well known decoration mods that lets you decorate and put blocks and items on display. All of the blocks within Bibliocraft are both aesthetically pleasing but also purposeful. There's everything from custom armour stands, display cases to showcase your items, tool racks, potion shelves to store craftable potions, desks and typesetting tables, cookie jars, map frames for cartographers wanting to display their maps with their exploration data in large form and bells too. Another mod for adding decorative pieces to the game, Bibliocraft is a storage and ornamental mod that started off in its humble beginnings as a simple bookshelf mod but has become something so much more. All of the pieces it adds are aesthetically pleasing and many are functional too and are used for display. For an example, the new bookshelves make storing and displaying your books a lot better than vanilla Minecraft's flat 2D shelves. There's bookshelves to create your own libraries, display cases to store weapons, potion shelves to store your brewery stand creations, tool racks to emplace your tools on, shelves, desks for writing and storage, typing tables, printing presses, seats to sit on, dinner plates, lanterns for lighting other than torches, fancy lanterns and lamps for decoration and illumination, cookie jars, disc racks for music disc storage, map frames for the maps that you collect and and also a desk bell. There's also so many other items too which can be used for many other purposes. This is a great mod to accompany other display and cosmetic mods to decorate your house with. I really think if you run DecoCraft, Mr. Crayfish's Furniture and Bibliocraft all at the same time, the inside of your house is just going to look crazy with the amount of diversity of the things that you have to display with. Necoration. Necoration is a forge mod for decorative items that offers a wide choice for building and creating. A lot of the blocks within this mod can also be dyed different colours using the vanilla dye items. A lot of the models automatically connect to each other in this mod without the need to use any other connected texture mods which is pretty impressive, adapting to blocks adjacent to them. In this mod you can also draw your own paintings too. You use a palette item and pick the colours that you want and then create custom artwork and paintings. Banners can also be transformed into wallpapers using the same patterns that you would make shields from banners and then emplace them on any wall type surface. The Neko brochure item serves as this mod's in-game guide for the viewing of its recipes and an explanation for many of its features and mechanics. Number 5. Zeta Painting Mod If you're an artist or love drawing or art, I would say that this mod is perfect for you, as it adds entirely custom drawing interfaces that lets you make custom pictures all within Minecraft. You have to create the craftable canvases along with an easel to put them on and some paints from dyes as well as a palette. All of these items need to be prepared in the right way in your chosen location for your painting workshop, where you will set up your easel and canvas along with an artist table which must be placed close by. The palette goes in a special palette slot to begin the drawing process where you can adjust colours and select different tools. This actually works in a very similar way to Microsoft Paint with a classic looking interface, Neff's Medieval Decoration. If you're building fancy-esque medieval style architecture, this is perhaps the single most important mod to make use 
use of. This mod adds decorations and blocks in a dark and rustic medieval style that makes the world look more visually pleasing. Perfect for decorating pubs and taverns or improving the look of small residential buildings with improved interior decoration. The mod does in fact introduce some new structures such as small merchant tents, cemeteries and taverns themselves. Amongst the world, small decorative blocks such as branches and logs, stones and bones or skeletons can be found just in random areas. Supplementaries. Supplementaries is a decoration mod that adds a lot of blocks and items but the important thing about this mod is that many of the items and blocks have a usable feature or some kind of gimmick to them. For an example, there are special plant pots to grow crops and plants inside, signs outside that can have logos or items displayed on them and then hung from blocks or roofs, working clock blocks to tell the time, usable taps that work with water, glass jars with fireflies in them and just some really interesting and random vanity items. Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod This is another high quality mod that adds furniture that's mostly functional and useful in some form, with many pieces that can adorn each room in your house, from your kitchen, bedrooms, dining room and outdoor areas. With over 80 or more unique furniture pieces, there are some really nifty pieces such as the mailbox that has a working mail system. This lets you send items and blocks to players on your server. There's literally everything in this mod. For an example, showers turn on and make sounds, toilets have a funny fart feature, toasters, microwaves and ovens are actually functional and cook food, and drawers and desks just have inventory space to store items in them. So along with DecoCraft, this one is also a really nice one for designing the interior of your houses. You can basically build some awesome houses in Minecraft and there's things like chests, enchanting tables, furnaces and more to put inside them but one thing that's always felt missing from Minecraft is the interior design features to decorate your house with, especially furniture itself. The DecoCraft mod basically had a huge range of different things to decorate your house with, even just random objects and ornaments, but this mod is directly focusing on the furniture itself. The mod brings over 80 unique and new pieces of furniture into Minecraft to make your bedroom, living room, kitchen or even your garden more believable. With this mod you can make your houses into your dream vision by using awesome decorative furniture to make them even better. There's pieces such as fridges, ovens, chairs, cupboards, computers and desks, white picket fences, fountains, showers, baths, sinks, toilets and so much more which you can improve your rooms with. This mod is super expansive and it adds so many ornamental pieces that you really need if you want to make your Minecraft modern house or mansion as good as it can be. DecoCraft Along with Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, DecoCraft is another all time great that you may have heard of. The reason I put this one at number one is the sheer size of its collection. There's more than 3000 decorative pieces added by this mod which is pretty crazy if you stop and think about it. With silverware, kegs, lighting pieces such as lamps, some of DecoCraft's furniture is functional too. The placement system in Deco Craft is really unique as it shows an outline to visualize where the block will be in place. The collection in this mod is far too extensive to explain though but if you want a furniture mod with a lot of content this is probably the one that you should choose. And you can also run it alongside other mods too. For an example I ran DecoCraft and Mr. Crayfish's furniture at the same time and the amount of blocks that you get just running both is pretty crazy. For people who love replicating realistic scenes or pushing the boundaries with Minecraft interior design, DecoCraft should be down your street. The mod adds a huge diverse collection of over 300 or more decorative items for your Minecraft designing needs. The massive collection of brand new props will give your world that little bit of extra feeling to it and make the insides of your houses look more homely. From furniture to brand new lighting solutions or ornaments like rocking horses or musical equipment like drums and guitars, this mod basically has it all. Not all of the items are just for display though, a lot of them are also functional and have a purpose too and each and every block has a pretty impressive custom model and texture to them that are entirely unique. You can use the gravestones to build graveyards or the lamps to illuminate your carnivals, use kegs for drinking or the food and cutlery to decorate your table. There's so many weird and wonderful little items to utilize in the DecoCraft mod. A lot of the times people build some really nice looking modern houses or mansion builds and the exterior looks super great but inside there's not really so much that you can put inside it to make it look realistic. Using the DecoCraft mod makes those really grand houses actually look as good as the outside on the inside. Moving elevators. 
With this mod you can construct real working moving elevators in Minecraft that move you and any other entities on their platform up to multiple floors when you press the button. The platform can vary in size or move at varied speeds also and the elevator controller and display blocks can be disguised as other blocks to blend in and look clean. This is a really nice mod because elevators have always been a really interesting element of Minecraft for me and making one in vanilla just doesn't cut it as it takes too much redstone knowledge and they look really messy. Just enough torches. This mod introduces a series of different torches and lamps made from different types of materials in game which are stone, netherrack, prismarine, obsidian and gold and it brings torches of each of these types as well as lamps made from lapis, obsidian and quartz. The prismarine torches in this mod can also be placed underwater to fit into the 1.13 update aquatic theme. The obsidian torches and lamps are also blast proof due to the base block's resistance level and lamps in this mod function exactly the same as the already existent redstone lamps in the vanilla game. Additional lights. This mod introduces a series of different lights into the game with 8 new types, 2 new fire types and over 200 different variations. All of these lights come in different models and sizes and include fire pits, standing torches, block fires on a column, small candle like flames, better torches to hang upon walls, braziers and a lot more. I really like this mod just for its decoration purpose and the fact that they blend in with all of the existing blocks that are already within the game. Engine Engineer's Doors. The Engineer's Doors mod adds different doors, trap doors and fence gates made out of materials from the Immersive Engineering mod, meaning it's required to be installed to use this one. There's brand new doors made of concrete and treated wood, trap doors, fence gates made from aluminium, steel and treated wood and a lot more like the steel and trap doors being redstone only. Statues. Adding a collection of statues to the game, you'll see a variation of villager statues, statues for cows, snow golems, blazers, slimes, bats, zombies, sheep, creepers, chickens and a large collection of others based upon nearly every mob from the vanilla game. These are just perfect to decorate your base with or to give it that classical look. Embellish Craft this mod includes decorative blocks and items that enhance your creativity when you are building. A lot of blocks like chairs and doors in this mod have interaction to them, although most don't have any specific function. The whole purpose of this mod is to add tons of new decorative items like different brick types, new roof tiles, wallpaper blocks, 16 colour variants of beds, chess, different door variants and so much more. This is a really extensive cosmetic mod for decorating your houses with. McCaw's Furniture Having featured McCaw's bridges, windows and doors before, today I'll be featuring his furniture mod. If you wanted a large collection of furniture to put in your house and different combinations of furniture types, then this mod is probably for you. This mod focuses upon adding different types and styles of furniture, which includes things like nightstands, chairs and stools or wardrobes. With desks, small cupboards, tables and bookcases, there's a fairly nice collection of furniture pieces here. Tall Gates this is a very simple concept for a mod. Usually I don't feature mods twice, although I'm pretty sure I did feature this one on a past list. This mod brings double high fence gates with the vanilla wood types to the game that connect to both fence pieces and wall blocks so they should blend in well with your builds. You just place two normal gates of the same type above each other in a crafting bench to create one of these double high gates. You can right click one of the gates to open both of them at one time or you can provide a redstone signal power input to toggle them remotely. There's a lot of different ways you can open and close these doors and they look a lot nicer. Rustic Rustic is a medieval style themed mod that focuses on new decorational and agricultural content focused around that style. This mod contains a bunch of different kind of features which are bees, a new alchemy system, brand new crops, a brewing system for creating beverages that give you unique effects, some brand new tree types, all new decorative blocks and some more features. The mod is good in the sense that it actually has a good book in game that shows all of the mods features and how to use them which is really important important these days instead of having to go on the internet and look up all the information of a mod on a wiki page. Melissa's Doors 
This mod brings brand new animations for doors, trapdoors and fence gates in Minecraft as well as adding a brand new collection of several other door types with glass doors, laboratory doors, jail doors, factory doors and garage doors. They each have different original animations which are a little bit different to each other. One of the coolest features in this mod is a machine block that actually lets you build the new doors and then choose how they actually look and how you want them to appear. Carpenter's Blocks this mod brings a collection of all new blocks which are vanilla inspired such as slopes and more. The blocks allow you to cover them using most other solid blocks already existing in the game. Now when they're covered they appear and behave the same as the block that they're copying but in the different shapes and forms. An example would be making obsidian stairs that have explosion resistance. It overhauls the building experience and adds some visually appealing blocks. Using this you could basically turn any type of block into beds, doors, stairs or more functional type blocks which makes it really awesome. They start off as a frame like looking block which can be decorated by covering them as previously mentioned and then they will inherit the certain blocks properties. There's many different types of block frames in the carpenters block mod. There's different variants for roofs, cabinets, ladders, stairs and a lot more. One of the most awesome parts that I really like is the garage doors function where you can actually make fully operational garage doors for your bases that fold up and down and you can make them turn into any other material. Whether you want to make a lapis lazuli and glass door or a brick bed, classic fences or even grass covered diamonds, this mod will bring enough crazy opportunities for you to be content with. Signpost. This mod adds three new blocks and three new tools. The waystone, which can be placed and named, which allows you to teleport to and from the positions of the block. The signpost, which looks similar to a single fence block and then can also be completed into a fully fledged sign, which are linked to the waystones and then titled. You can use these signposts to teleport to the waystones that you place when they are linked, and there are seven different wood, stone, and iron variants for the signposts added in the mod. Basically, you add the waystone on the ground, name the waystone and then also put the corresponding waystone note on the label of the sign which allows you to right click on it and teleport to that waystone. This mod is really nice to add fantasy RPG style signposts that display titles of towns or other destinations which make your map more realistic, especially when going on an adventure or if you need to label multiple different towns you are building and also need a quick way to get to them. The mod is highly configurable with most of the properties being able to be modified in the file and there's a list of commands that you can actually use in game to display your waystones and signs or to modify them. If you were to make a modded server or a really nice adventure map with lots of different towns and cities then this would be really nice to make a set of signs. One really cool thing about the mod is you can also rotate each different segment of the sign which allows you to make the different town signs rotate in different directions on the same signpost. This really reminds me of the signs which are in the Elder Scrolls Morrowind, so it's a really nice mod. Fairy Lights If you're all about decorating your base or preparing for the holidays, then I've got you covered with this mod. This mod brings a suite of hanging lights that you can decorate your base with. The lights can be comprised of any combination of 6 different light variants, with each having one of 16 die colours. There are a lot of brand new recipes to craft them, which can be a little bit tricky if you're in survival mode, but they're pretty basic to make. You can craft bunting, garland or hanging lights and use a fastener to connect them all together or to objects and then right click to toggle them on or off. The maximum length of the fairy light strand is up to 32 blocks. Whether you want to create a Christmas winter display on your server or to decorate a neighbourhood of custom house builds in your world, these fairy lights will make everything look great. What's more, if you also use a HD texture pack with shader support, this would further make your game look otherworldly. I'd really be interested interested to see if someone could actually show me what that looks like with shaders. I haven't yet tried it out myself, but using Optifine with shaders and having the fairy lights illuminate the night would certainly look great. Advanced Chimneys If you ever wanted to make the roofs of your houses look better and be more realistic or fully functional, then using this mod might be a perfect solution. This mod adds a collection of chimneys that can be created from most blocks. They will use the smoke from furnaces and direct them outside of your homes into the natural outdoors. You basically place chimneys on top of a furnace and then the particles will come out and change direction based
based on the wind. You can use pumps with redstone below the furnace to direct the smoke down also. The chimney pipes take the smoke from fires too and there's a lot of different craftable types that are based off the vanilla blocks in the game and there's a variety of different smoke colours which are based on the chimney's material that you use. You can also use vent ducts for connecting chimneys together. Storage drawers. I featured this mod before in one of my list videos for storage mods which is not always something I do. Usually I keep every single video unique and don't feature the same mod in more than one video. But this mod is a really great mod for storage and sorting as well as just for pure cosmetic purposes which is why I chose to feature this one more than once. The mod is inspired by many other mods like the previously aforementioned Bibliocraft and it's used to add and remove items to your inventory and to store them in drawers which can be upgraded via various enhancements and improvements. Each storage drawer is set to a specific item which will be then displayed as an icon for easy reference so you don't forget where you put your important things. So each storage drawer is based off a specific item and the item is displayed so you don't have to look inside them. If you need a storage room for your countless materials and items for safekeeping, perhaps making an advanced vault system or container room will be useful and can also be upgraded and improved with this mod to sort everything. A lot of us have tons of different chests and sure we can use signs to label them but the storage drawers mod just makes this more hassle free and they look a lot better. Chisel. This mod adds a massive collection of decorative blocks to the game for those who are builders or decorators. The new chisel tool lets you gain access to the brand new blocks and is created using an iron ingot and a stick. When you right click with this new tool it will open a brand new interface for chiseling construction which lets you create all the new blocks by putting a block into the chisel pane. Most blocks in the mod don't have a secondary function but are mainly used purely for decoration, although some of them have connected textures and can seamlessly be placed side by side. Some functional items include the ball of moss which when thrown turns all nearby blocks into their moss variants such as turning stone bricks into mossy stone bricks or cobblestone into mossy cobblestone and there's also the cloud in a bottle which will form clouds on impact with blocks so if you throw it on a block it will create clouds. Some of the blocks with this mod look really great and can be made into really impressive beautiful structures. For an example the pillar blocks can be made into ancient Greek looking structures like the Parthenon. And that concludes this list of the top Minecraft decoration and furniture mods. For more Minecraft mods and mod pack videos give the video a like and subscribe. Let me know which of these decorations and furniture mods your favourite was and why in the comments below and tell me about any other decoration or furniture mods which I didn't feature in this list that deserved to feature. Thanks for watching.